We're seeing a lot more MAGA hats in California. I will tell you that. I haven't seen this many man, I, since, uh, since man, ever. D- Dusty, I'm going to tell you right now, I was I was part of the first one, first brown, brown skinner in my city to wear a MAGA hat. And I actually had to get it made at the mall at Lids, you know, because they didn't have them out here. It was a new era, red, uh, flat bill, uh, Trump hat. I ain't really ever seen nobody have one like mine, nice. but I was the first one in my city. And my wife, her stomach would hurt. Whenever I, I first put it on and we go out in public, she's like, man, I'm so nervous. And, and I said, I'm wearing my hat. And I wore my hat. And I'm like, I said, I'm a X Street dude. I'm a born again Christian, you know, but, you know, I'm, I'm I ain't a softy. You ain't gonna play with me. I'm an old man, you know, so uh, I'd go out with my mega hat and my wife and my kids. And, and it, at first, it was very uh, unnerving, you know, but after a while, I mean, it's, it's like, it's like an, anything else, like a cowboy's hat. I just put it on, you know, mega hat and walk out. And like I said, at first, it was a, uh, it was something else to, to first come out and support Trump when nobody else really was. And, uh, you know, other people that look like me, especially that look like me, were not supporting Trump or even wearing a MAGA hat. So, uh, anyways, go ahead. Sorry yeah, for going. Yeah. Nah, it's all good. Nah, keep going in those weeds, man. It's just yeah. up other stuff yeah. in my head, too. So, we're good. Don't even worry about it. But, okay. Heck yeah. Um, to everyone out there, before we jump into uh, this abomination of a uh, rally that I watched just recently mm. with Kamala Harris, you know. Tell everybody from your own opinion. I know you're not trying to change anyone's mind, you know, but from your own opinion, why would Trump make a better president than Kamala Harris? <laughs> uh, hey, sorry, I ain't trying to laugh at you, Dusty, but that's a crazy question. Ah, go ahead. It's a basic. Um, yeah, it's just something. Yeah, because these people out there, they don't know. So let's teach them. Well, I'll say this. I mean, where has Kamala been for the last three and a half years? And let's really be honest, y'all. When you listen to her talk, fact check me when I say this. When have you heard her announce any plan of action whatsoever? She only has uh, platitudes and insults to Trump. You haven't heard this woman uh, saying anything about how she's going to make this country better. I haven't heard her. I'm looking for substance. She can have Meg Thee Stallion. She can have Quavo. She can have the circus, you know, going on. I'm looking for, as an informed voter and a critical thinker and a MAGA hatter, I'm looking for a plan of action. I'm going to be honest, Dusty. If she came out here with a badass plan and I believed her and it was sounding good and it was and, and was you know what I'm saying it was that, a good bro. plan, I was hoping for you that. know I, I would at least give her an ear. Wow. Right? Like I'm not I'm not tied exactly. To, dog, I'm not tied to one side. Like if you present a good candidate that actually makes exactly. sense and it makes sense for me also and 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 our country, I'm all ears. But I like you said, where has she been in the past three and a half years, dog? Sitting in the background making those weird cackling laughs. Like that's all I've been seeing her do. Dusty, why, why wouldn't we be like that, right? Men, they have properties, assets, you know, for or retirements, you know, families. Uh, I'm, I'm a husband. I don't, I don't know if you're, if you're married, Dusty, but yep. people with, with, with responsibilities and priorities in life, why wouldn't we support the better candidate, you know, regardless of party lines? But again, back to your question, why, uh, why would I vote for Trump? I mean, it's simple. Kamala Harris, just do this, ladies and gentlemen, listen to her speak. And tell me that she does not sound like somebody that uh, did a, a fifth grade rep- uh, report, you know, and she didn't even, she did a book report and it, she didn't even read a book. I mean, it sounds like someone that, that, that doesn't even know what the hell they're talking about, you know, and that's saying a lot, you know, coming from Joe Biden to her, like that's the only hope that people have is her. But, but again, Trump, he did for America. Trump was a, an America first candidate. He really, uh, you know, broke barriers with him, you know, coining terms. We, we don't give him enough props. Fake news, you know, all these words that he would say. I mean, he really helped mold a lot of people and change people's mindsets and even get people involved and would have never been involved. I got a, a 38,000 page following on Facebook, Nino America, Instagram, YouTube, and I give a lot of props to Trump because if he, if he would have never came in the game, I would have never gotten involved like I did. I've been in protests uh, and rallies in my city. I, I've gone viral many times. And I give props to Trump because for him coming in and doing what he did, it sparked something amongst the American people and especially in people like me. And I'm an ex street dude, right? So Kamala will never measure up to Trump. There's no way that she could ever or Biden or really anybody. Trump has actually been the best president in my lifetime. I can say that with the, with the honest face here. But again, why would I vote for him over uh, Kamala? Uh, she is basically worthless. Uh, she's a, a career politician like Biden. They're just uh, whack, lame. Uh, Kamala was on the side piece of, of she was a uh, Montel Williams side piece and uh, shot him out. He was a Marine, but you know, she just didn't, she, she does not have what it takes to uh, run a country. And I also believe that biblically, when a woman rules over a land, it's a curse upon the people. Call me what word you want to call me, give me that about it. But that's what my biblical and personal belief is. I would never want a woman running the country. 
Go ahead. Interesting. That's very interesting. You know, I haven't heard that aspect yeah. yet. No, I got talk, the verse. I'll send it to you, bro. Talk yeah. to me about that, man. Break break that down because I, I don't personally agree with that. You know, because but then again, I'm not a practicing Christian. I went to, you know, I did the Christian thing up until 19 and I was done. But I still respect, you know, everyone's right to to pray to whoever they want to and believe what they want to. But um, why do you why do you think a woman shouldn't uh, shouldn't be president? Because biblically it states it, there's a verse that says that uh, they will be oppressed by uh, the. Ch- I think it says even the children. And then the, when the women r- rules over the uh, men and over the land, it's a curse. I don't have the verse in front of me, but that's one of my arguments against it. But I'm gonna be honest, uh, Dusty. I'm very traditional and conservative. People could even call me extreme, but my wife hasn't worked in over maybe 15 years. You know, I believe that a man should provide for the household. Uh, the woman should. She knows her role. The husband knows uh, his role. And I don't believe a woman should ever assert authority over a man in any capacity, to be completely honest. And I know people are going to get mad about it, but that's what I believe. You know, my wife is my helpmate. I, uh, she she tends to the house, but I, overall, I'm the boss, you know. So me seeing Kamala go up there and try to, you know, be president uh, biblically and even uh, in my beliefs, I think that's a big letdown, big, uh, like I said, a curse upon the land. And uh, I'm just not for it whatsoever. I think that's uh it's pretty bad. And to be honest, Dusty, whenever you see women in the videos with the police, even my wife agrees. I mean, man, I think it looks bad. You know, there's a certain, uh, I think men and women, our roles were ordained by God. And I believe that, you know, women shouldn't be doing certain things that, uh, that that's a man's job. And like I said, when you see the police stuff, I've seen it many times. When the woman gets overpowered. They're not listening to her. And she's someone that's supposed to be in, in authority or an authoritative figure. So again, that's why I believe that the role for any leader should be a man, a male. Mm, okay, that's interesting, and I appreciate your uh, your opinion on that, man. See the city bus. She don't wanna ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby.